to QCore, the best learning platform for all of you to learn. My name is Prabha and today I'm going to take you to class 6 science book. So let us start with the first topic that is food. Before going into the topic, I would like you all to just notice and just observe the food that you take daily. So do you think without food you can live? No, right? Even one day you cannot survive without food. So, now let us go through this very important prospect of our life that is food. Where does it come from? So, before going to the topic, let us have a look at our different foods that we have in our daily life. So, for breakfast, we usually have chapati, barantha, bread, etc. Right? So, for lunch, likewise, we have rice, curry, and that can be like veg and non veg. And for dinner as well, we have sometimes like rice, it can be chapati or rice and curry, the same thing. Okay, so now let us start with the ingredients. So let us go into the ingredients. What are they made of? So different foods are made up of different in ingredients, right? So the let's take the example of rice or say the okay let's take the example of the so what do you think what are the ingredients uh, that make up make up the so and says oil or some use ghee water Right? So these are the main ingredients. So likewise, if you are making a, you know, like, uh, say, any curry. Let's say you are making a chicken curry. So what would you require? What are the ingredients that you would require? So those will be first the chicken, then some masalas. Those are spices. Right? So, <clears throat> masala spices, onion, ginger, garlic, oil, that's it for anything you can add, right? Even the other spices also you can add, like many uh, spices you can add, that is up to your taste. Now, we know that food they are like different types of food that we take for uh, lunch breakfast dinner right so the ingredients also we came to know so now coming to the next part the sources of food right so we know that plants and animals are the primary source of food so that might uh, come in your exams as well because that is the most important one mark question so just uh, the main source the main source of food are plants and animals so from here we are going to learn what we get from plants what are the different parts of plants and what uh, are the examples of uh, those edible parts that we can have in our daily lives and uh, as well as animal products as food okay now coming into the sources of food for plants so from plants we get rice rice wheat grains cereals vegetables and fruits right so Coming into the animal animal section, or we get from animals milk, milk, eggs, meat, fish from animals. Okay, so now plant parts as food. So what are the parts of plants that we take 
as food. So, in leaves, for example, cabbage, right? So, stems, stems also, stems of some plants are also edible, like you can say the fruit sugar cane, and there are many more, right? So, roots, so modified roots such as carrots, radish, etc. Right? So flowers are also edible parts of plant. Okay? So in flowers, we can see pumpkin flowers, which is edible. Right? So fruits and seeds, you already know seeds. In terms of seeds, we can say mustard seeds. Right? So from mustard, we get mustard oil, which we use in our daily lives. So in fruits, we can have anything like apple. Fruits, you know more or less apple, banana, everything. Everything that which you take as fruit, like uh, guava and everything. So these are the overall uh, items that we get from plants as well as animals. So from plants, we are getting leaves, stems, roots, flowers, fruits, seeds as edible parts okay that which we can eat in our daily lives so animal product as food so what are the animal product that we get as food so primarily it's milk right from which we get daily products which we use in our daily life like butter ghee Okay, so milk, mad, milk, cream, everything that even the uh, uh, sweets that you eat uh, from your shop or anything like in our home that you can make it out of uh, milk, right? In, in your eyes, everything. Okay, the ultimate source is milk, the ultimate source is animal. So now in this part, we'll discuss about the plant parts that we eat. Let us take it as an activity. Okay, so let us see. Carrot, what we eat? So what is the edible part of carrot? Carrot is actually a root, right? So carrot is a root. Sugar cane. Sugar cane? For sugar cane, the edible part is the stem. Stem. Okay, for cabbage, it is the leaves. Okay, and cauliflower is a flower and mustard obviously a seed. So, these are the different parts that we uh, eat of a plant. Okay, so, so now uh, we know that the different parts of the plant are edible. So, in this case, we can take in the leaves of some particular plants that we take our cabbage, lettuce, spinach. Here we can add as radish. So far we have studied plant parts that we use as food, we eat as food, the edible parts of plants, right? So um, let us take a quick recap. So flowers, this is the flower. These are the flowers, this is the leaf, this is the stem, this is the node of stem, uh, this is the internode, and this is the root, right? So, and this is a bird. So, we have studied on like uh, there are some plants uh, who is like more than two parts or more than one parts are edible so, like flowers leaves stem um, roots um like sometimes buds as well so now we have come to the conclusion that if some plants are there whose more than one or two or maybe like uh, sometimes three or more are edible so we can uh, eat that okay so now, so far we have learned about the sources of food, like the plants and animals, right? Animals and this you need 
to by heart from the one box question. Then we learned about the edible parts of plants, right? Those are leaves, stems, flowers, roots, etc. Even seeds. Okay. So then we learned about the our uh, animal the sources of and like uh, products that we get from animal animal like milk egg meat etc. Then we learn about we also learn about the varieties of food we take right so we cannot have only one food all the time right so we need varieties okay so those varieties will be like distinguished by the lunch breakfast dinner or tea time something like that but all those will be included as a food only that we take okay be it one ingredient food or more than two or three ingredients food so varieties of food also we learned right so now we'll study about animals and their food okay so uh we learned about everything regarding plants right now we need to learn about animals what do they eat so animals also needs to eat right so there are three categories of animals okay so food first is the herbivores which eats only plants okay which only eats plants green plants so those can be like cow buffalo goat etc so there are many herbivores okay so now uh, the carnivores herbivores are that means they eat only they eat only plants okay green plants so what are carnivores carnivores are that category of animals which eats only which eats only meat that is which eats only animals so those are like tiger lion that means here we can write only meat or other animals okay so tiger lion um wolf etc okay so omnivores okay omnivores means which eats both plants as well as animals or you can say the combination of herbivores or carnivores can be termed as uh, omnivores okay so omnivores eats both plants and animals animals are just meat so omnivores like dog cat we can include ourselves as well right so human beings so there are others as well so this uh, is the conclusion of the topic so so far we know what are the primary sources of food those are plants and animals which are the edible parts of plant what are the products that we get from animals so your activity for next class would be you will sum up all the products that we get from plants and animals okay and also you observe the ingredients that you eat in your daily food what are the ingredients used so that you can have a clear knowledge about this topic so now we know uh, basically uh, basic things all like food its source the varieties that we're taking the uh, edible parts of plants the sources of uh, uh, like uh, the animal products that we eat and as well as the animals uh, that and their 
good okay as well as plants and their edible parts so these are the things that we learned today so in the next class see you in the next class thank you for watching